after time, other communities had our backs when storms have hit our area. And as Kaplan Julian Lescano reports, many of our neighbors are returning the favor. The City of Miami Gardens hosted a Hurricane Milton relief drop-off located at Norwood Park in Miami Gardens. It began on Friday, October 11th and is concluding Sunday, October 13th from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. The event is led by Miami Gardens Councilman Reggie Leon and State Representative Ashley Gant of Florida House District 109. Following Hurricane Milton's catastrophic impact along Florida's west coast, one Florida community has come to the aid of those affected the most. I mean, it's it's very significant because there are people who are still um, without lights, without water, um, the basic necessities. So even though we were just kind of hit with, you know, the not definitely not as bad as Helene in the other areas, you know, being able to come together and do what we can to support people in other areas who were definitely hit a lot harder. Councilman Reggie Leon stated that he wanted to make sure unfortunate communities, especially communities affected the most, such as Tampa Bay, do not get overlooked. You know, it's the turnout is great, as you can see, like this was definitely because the hurricane just happened. This was put together last minute and the turnout is amazing. We've gotten a lot of supplies. Uh, my chapter is just one chapter who's, you know, coming to help and support and donate uh, diapers, sanitary items, hygiene products, things that like the basic necessities that people don't have access to right now. The most memorable part of this event is the community coming together collectively for a good cause to bring awareness to the situation in Tampa and seeing that everybody's coming together to lend a helping hand. In Miami Gardens, I'm Julie Lascano reporting for Kaplan News.